name is Travis Holcomb. Um, I just completed the three-month course, the Intro to Ableton and Music Composition and Theory classes. And basically, I came into the class not knowing anything about Ableton. I Just hearing the stories that you guys had going around the class in the beginning of things, um, I mean, a lot of common stuff. Like, I had started and stopped a couple times with reason, just getting frustrated and throwing my hands up and just not being able to find the solutions or working with other people and just feeling like the product wasn't really what I wanted because I didn't really know how to make the sound. So it's just me sort of trying to describe what I want and not being able to get it and just getting frustrated. So I've been DJing since high school. Um, I do a radio show here in LA at a station called KCRW and I do the weeknight 10 to midnight shift. So I've been into music for a really long time and just the whole music production thing was just so daunting. And when you first look at Ableton, if you have no experience with Ableton, it looks really crazy with the columns set up and everything. It doesn't look like anything else out there. So I wanted to just sort of take a class just so I could sort of get a feel for how Ableton works and see if I could sort of get to the point where I could express the ideas that I wanted to express through music with Ableton. And I found it incredibly helpful. There were people in my class that had been using Ableton for a couple of years. I think I was probably the greenest one in the class, not really having any experience with Ableton. By the end of the three months, you know, I had like a halfway decent track and I have like a much better understanding of how Ableton works. It does become apparent when you sort of get the basics of Ableton down that it's not super crazy difficult. Like it's just a matter of punching out sounds and trying different things, putting on effects. Like you can have something pretty decent, maybe not completely finished, but you can have something pretty decent in a short amount of time. And that's the really cool thing about Ableton. And also just, you know, Tom and Morgan were my two teachers whose music I had played on my show before I ever came to this class. So I was familiar with their music and I was fans of their stuff. And even Jesse, we didn't really talk much about Jesse's music, but he did a lot of stuff for Banks and the Sam Sparrow song Black and Gold and everything. I mean, you got people who are really talented, known musicians teaching the classes. And that's really helpful because a lot of times you know, one of the things you wouldn't get out of an Ableton or a YouTube tutorial would be you'll just be working on a track and you feel like you're on the right path at a certain point and then it just goes wrong. You can't necessarily pinpoint where it's gone wrong and you could just raise your hand and Tom will be like, well, I think maybe like this might be slightly, slightly out of key. Let's go into it and adjust this and this and like get you back on track. So that's one of the really cool things about taking this class. It's just the feedback you get from the teachers. And, you know, you can ask as many questions as you need. And the other cool thing, like we've heard mentioned already, is just being able to work with other people and just figuring out through sharing and learning what they're doing and learning from their mistakes also, just how to improve your work. If you guys have any questions about just from a student's perspective, I can answer any of those as well. When I came into the class, I was a fan of music, longtime DJ, but just didn't know even just a little bit about music production, but nothing about Ableton itself. So if you don't have any experience, this is a great way to start. And if you know some stuff, but maybe there's gaps in your knowledge, there was a lot of people in my class that were that way too. This is a great way to sort of fill those holes and learn new techniques or maybe you, you've been doing something the long way where you're taking eight steps to sidechain something and all you have to do is just go into your your settings and you could just hit one button and get it done so it's good learning from these professionals like tom and morgan and having just learning tricks from them as well i think so a little bit i mean like you definitely realize that every sound that went into a song even if it's just like this ambient whirring whoosh sound that's something that somebody agonized over for probably three or four hours and I think when you're just DJing, you're more like taking in the elements as a whole rather than deconstructing a lot of things. So I feel like it does give you a greater appreciation for everything that goes into every song. Even if you don't like it necessarily, somebody spent a lot of time agonizing over every little detail of it before he decided, all right, like I'm done with this and I'm ready to put it out into the world. So in that respect, yeah, it did give me like a... I appreciate music on kind of another level than I did before. I took the class that was Mondays and Tuesdays. It was from 11 o'clock to 6 o'clock. 
and I'll just use Tom as an example because he was my my Monday teacher. We'd get in and Tom would show us a couple new techniques. Obviously day one you learn how to warp a track, which is super important if you're using samples or anything like that. It basically establishes where the different markers are that you want the beat to hit on. Um, so you, he would go over it with you on the uh, projector and then maybe a couple other techniques that you would learn and then you'd have like an hour and a half or two hours or so just to sort of work on it on your own. And if you have any questions, Tom is just going around the class, you know, just going over anything that you might have issues with. Then um, break for lunch. Then you come back, you might learn a couple more techniques. It might be just sort of how to use a sample and how to like stretch it to how you want it without making it sound distorted or something like that. So you work on that sort of thing. And then you learn like a new technique. And then at the end of class, you'll have like a minute and a half loop or something like that. Some people might be more advanced and they can take it a little bit further than that. But you go over it and everybody plays their stuff for the rest of the class. And you just sort of go over the issues you had maybe getting to where, you're, where you got. Or if somebody has a question about, oh, how'd you do this? You could just be like, oh, I did this, this, and this. And that's a great way to learn because you're not going to make all the same mistakes every time as the other person. So you can learn a lot from the things that they messed up on and the solutions they came up for it. And it's a great way to learn. That.